Good morning, East Texas. We are waking up to several clouds over our region right now. If you're stepping outside, you can kind of see them out here on SDBS 19 sky cam. You can see just a little bit of it over the horizon. It's kind of hard because it's dark out right now, but due to that cloud cover, we are a little bit warmer at this time of day than we were yesterday. Right now it's in the upper 60s. So if you're getting an early start to your day, you'll want to pack a jacket because it's chilly outside right now. Humidity is rather high, so your frizz cap is in the frizzy category today. Dew points are in the 60s, so it's going to feel a little bit sticky when you step outside. Not too bad, but a little bit sticky, and your hair is definitely going to frizz when you step outside. That's because we have wind that's coming out of the southeast, so it's bringing in all of that humidity that we're seeing from the Gulf directly into East Texas. And that wind will pick up a little bit through the afternoon. We'll see gusts between 20 and 25 miles per hour around the lunch hour, so you want to probably tie your hair back because it'll really blow around with that type of wind, but that should start to clear out a little bit as we get through the afternoon. But like I said, it's bringing in humidity and that is causing all of that cloud cover and a little bit of rain that we're seeing right now out toward deeper East Texas. We'll see a couple of showers sticking with us through the morning out toward center St. Augustine and Lufkin that will start to clear out though by the time we get to 10 a.m. today and then that should continue to clear out by the time we get to the afternoon. That's when we'll even start to see the sunshine making a comeback today. So the sun is going to start to burn off all of those clouds this afternoon and that will allow our temperatures to get a little bit warmer. All right, but this is all coming from a low pressure system that we're tracking in the Gulf of Mexico and the remnants of Tropical Storm Lydia. That is funneling in all of this moisture and humidity and storm energy to our area. So we're not really seeing the bulk of it. Most of it is out going to be toward South Texas. However, if that does try to make it to us, it'll kind of be swept out to the east due to this cold front that we're tracking. That's going to start to come in on Friday and kind of sweep out any storm chances or really any humidity for our area. Then we'll have a gorgeous clear weekend ahead and we'll stay that way into early next week. So today we have about a 30% chance of rain over deeper East Texas, but then after that cold front comes through, it's going to be absolutely gorgeous, drier, less humid air is on the way for the weekend and into early next week which means that it's going to be nice and clear if you're out on Saturday trying to view the annular solar eclipse. So this will happen right around midday on Saturday. The moon is going to come in front of the sun and we'll get about 80% of um, this ring of fire as the moon moves in front of the sun. So pretty cool to go view it. But if you are going to look up into the sky on Saturday, be sure you have your special eclipse glasses to keep your eyes from getting damaged. Okay, today we are going up to 79 in the Rose City, 77 out in Longview, 76 in Linden, a couple of showers over deeper East Texas this morning, but those should clear out this afternoon. Tonight we'll be dropping down into the 60s and 50s, 59 in Longview and Nacogdoches, 61 is the low in Palestine, and then Mount Pleasant bottoming out at 59 tonight. And then we are back up into the 80s tomorrow and saying mostly sunny. We have that cold front coming through Friday evening, which will drop our temperatures to feel those crisp fall like conditions on Saturday and Sunday with highs in the 70s.